the KX News Storm Team. Hello everyone and welcome back to KX News at 4. I'm meteorologist Hunter Vinstock and we're going to take another look at these weather alerts. Now, right now we have this winter weather advisory that's valid until Friday at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's more for blowing snow at this stage of the game where we're going to see blowing snow and a potential for accumulations of another inch to two inches for those northwestern portions. But at this point in time, it's not really looking all that impressive. Now, our special weather statement out there, valid until Thursday at 6.15 p.m. tonight. Now, this is going to be for some changes of precip where it's going to be that mix of precip that the west saw the yesterday. Now taking a look at our NDDOT roadmap right now, we're going to see a lot of those scattered ice roads up to the north end down towards Bismarck. We also have all this purple in the background. That's for a travel alert for those icy slippery roads. So if you're traveling in the more northern reaches of the state, make sure you're driving slowly, taking it safe. And maybe if you can't afford to, maybe don't go out tonight and into tomorrow morning. And now down, down towards Dickinson, we're seeing that scattered snow covered areas. Looking at the storm team radar right now, in the more central regions of the state, we do have this signal of snow that's making its way through the state. Now temperatures are cool enough right now to be conducive to that sticking to the ground, but as people drive over those roads, it's pretty much making that a non-problem for the drivers across the roads this afternoon. Now Bismarck right now sitting at a temperature of 29 degrees, winds of the west, west, west northwest uh, 18 miles an hour and wind chill feeling like 16 degrees. In Williston right now, temperatures are going to be sitting right at 27, winds of the north northwest at 21 and making that wind chill feel like 13 degrees. So definitely the temperature has been on a cool down for the last couple of days. Temperatures across the rest of the state, we're looking at those mid 20s towards the eastern reaches, getting a little bit warmer in the more central reaches, but overall well below freezing for many across the state. We have 29 in Sydney, 27 in Beach, 28 in Bowman, 26 for our friends down there in Wishick, 23 in Harvey. So uh, definitely a cooler afternoon worth bundling up for. Looking at our wind speed and direction, we're primarily out of the northwest right now, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour. It's really, really windy out there this afternoon. 20 in Crosby, 15 in Newtown, 25 in Carson, 24 in Headinger, 23 for our friends down there in Ashley. So that wind is going to be bringing temperatures down a fair amount this afternoon. Your absolute comfort plumbing and heating wind chill report has those wind chills at 8 degrees of Harvey, 11 in Medina, 13 in Dickinson, 16 in Headinger. So very cold this afternoon. And looking at our fog forecaster, the fog really isn't going to be an issue for the next couple of days. It's really that wind blowing snow around the state for the next day or so. Looking at precision cast, we're going to see that snow signal today and it's going to push through tonight and into tomorrow morning. Now it's around 6 a.m. where we expect this to pretty much be done and over with for the most part. Might see a scattering or two here or there, but overall Friday tomorrow morning is where we'll stop seeing those accumulations. Now up to that point, we could see another half inch to an inch for isolated locations, the more central reaches of the state, but out there towards Williston, their snow is pretty much all but done at this point. Saturday, we'll see those scatterings and Sunday we should clear up. Now, as we roll through Sunday and into Monday, we'll see this next signal. Now, this next signal isn't looking all too impressive. We're looking anywhere from a half inch to an inch for this system right now. But that could change here in the next couple of days. Looking at our wind gust forecast, we're looking at those 30s and 35s this afternoon. And they're going to push in on Friday morning. Maybe calm down a little bit for the west. We'll see those 15s and 25s. And then calm down quite a bit by Saturday evening, in, or sorry, Saturday, Saturday evening into Sunday morning. And Sunday, we'll see those 15s and 25s once again calming down for Monday. Looking at your Williston five day forecast has those temperatures tomorrow at 27 degrees, 22 for Saturday and 30 even Sunday. So we go cool down and then warm right back up, but we'll still be right around that freezing range. Dickinson's five day forecast has those temperatures in the 30s for tomorrow, rolling down into the 20s for Saturday and 30s again through the rest of the five day. Your Minot seven day forecast has those temperatures at 27 degrees for tomorrow and maybe getting down into the teens overnight, but 20s and 30s pretty much for the whole period. Valentine's Day sitting right at 27 degrees. Now our Bismarck seven day forecast has those temperatures in the 30s pretty much throughout the whole period, getting above freezing for some times, but overall it's going to be a colder kind of week here, Joel. Yeah, chilly nights ahead, I guess. Get used to it. Yep, chilly nights. It's winter and Full swing once again. I'm, I'm loving this weather right now. Yeah, chilly nights, warm hearts next week leading into Valentine's Day. Hot cocoa is like my favorite drink, and it's finally like an okay temperature to drink it. This is, like that's, one, that's one saving grace of this. These are some yep. nice cocoa drinking days, cocoa I suppose. Cocoa drinking days. <laughs> <laughs> puts a smile on your face. Everybody's happy. Thank you, Hunter. Not happy about the ice, but happy about everything else. <laughs> Still to come on KX News at 4. It's Giving Hearts Day, and we take a look at the 24-hour fundraising 